Turing went on to suggest a game or test. Could a judge, asking questions over a teletype link, decide whether a human being or a machine was sending back the answers? If not, we would surely have to concede that the machine could be said to think. Turing predicted that this would happen within 50 years. In November 1991, a version of the Turing test was staged at the Computer Museum in Cambridge, Massachusetts. The original question, he went on to say, can machines think? I believe to be too meaningless to deserve discussion. While well, we have nine years to go on Turing's prophecy, and as astonishing as this would no doubt seem to Descartes, Turing might well be proved correct. Now his rough estimate... This was the first event in an annual competition with an ultimate prize of $100,000 for the first computer program which can persuade the judges that they're communicating with a human being. But whether that amount of memory is enough to support real thinking is another matter. Turing's original test was unrestricted. A judge could ask anything at all about any subject. The Cambridge version was heavily restricted. The competition judges were confined to specialized topics to give existing computer programs a chance. Okay, tell me about the romantic problem between Heathcliff and Catherine uh, in the book Wuthering Heights. You like more things in the relationship than you dislike. I don't understand this response in the context of Wuthering Heights. What in particular is so hard to understand? It doesn't make sense to me, but I'll move on to a different question. The winner was a program called Whimsical Conversation. Whimsical Conversation didn't just win, it was judged to be a human being by five out of the ten judges. Wow. <laughs> Problems in interpersonal relationships was judged to be a human being by two judges. Uh, we have another ten years to go, roughly speaking, before we'll know whether Turing's 50-year uh, prediction uh, is right or wrong. It's, I think, perfectly conceivable, it might actually happen, that before the turn of the century, uh, a computer will pass the unrestricted Turing test. I rather doubt that it'll happen. I rather doubt that it'll ever happen. But not for uh, deep, interesting reasons, not because it's impossible in principle, but for boring reasons of cost effectiveness. Getting those last, that last 10% of verisimilitude, without which a human being will always unmask the computer, would have almost no theoretical interest, uh, but would be terribly time consuming.